Okay, we have a bonding moment going on here. We have our Border Collie, Red Collar Jerry, and the cat. Wait, is that? Come here. Hi, baby. You being a good girl? Puppy, puppy. Okay, come on. Come here. Oh, I'm your favorite. Hi. Hi. You're a good girl. We're sniffing around the cat. We're doing two stairs, but not trying to chase her or anything. Puppy. Come here. Come here, Jerry. Bye. The cat's being fairly nice. Okay, so this is a good opportunity for me to go on my soapbox about cats and the puppies. We have cats running around here. It's a farm. They're kind of essential. We have one that's inside. The rest are mostly outside and around the barn. We have some cats that will just hide from the puppies. We have some that will hiss at them and bat their noses. Um, but if you're thinking of bringing a big puppy like this into a house with cats, how they do is largely going to be dependent on how you train them and the cat. The cat will pretty much dictate the situation. So we've had people get our pups and then call us somewhat exasperated about cats. And, you know, cats are all different and they, they're going to let that puppy know. But if that cat is the type that runs and hides from the puppy, then it's going to be um, the new owner's job to teach that pup to leave that cat alone if the cat's not going to do it itself. So, um, they're being exposed to cats here, I think is great for them, but it doesn't mean they're going to come into your house and get along with your cats perfectly well. It's going to take a little work on your part because, as you can see, the cat runs the show. If it wants to be friendly with the puppy, it will. If it doesn't want to, it won't. If it's scared of the puppy, I think that's where new owners kind of need to intervene a little. So.